My name is Torin. I live in Southern Ontario with my husband and two dogs. I'm 28, a college and university graduate, and I have dyslexia. In grade two, my teachers and parents started to notice I was struggling with school, particularly reading comprehension and spelling. It wasn't until grade four when my resource teacher finally won her ongoing battle with the school board to get me tested. She knew the signs of a learning disability and was eager to get me properly diagnosed. I'm not sure if the rules have changed since the early 2000s, but my testing and diagnosis was an interesting process. I was pulled out of class for a fair amount of time to do testing in the library one-on-one -on -one with a psychologist that the school board had brought in. This went on for a couple weeks. Once my testing was complete, my parents met with my testing psychologist and her superior. The psychologist could not legally tell my parents exactly what my learning disability was because at the time dyslexia had to be officially diagnosed by a physician. It was at this meeting that the lead psychologist, a man who hadn't worked with me, had the nerve to tell my parents I would be lucky to graduate with a high school diploma and anything greater than a grade 6 reading level. The woman who was involved in my testing, though, according to my mom, was great. Since she legally wasn't allowed to tell me or my parents what my diagnosis was, she sent my mom on a scavenger hunt to the local chapters. The woman wrote down the aisle, shelf number, and author and gave it to my parents. My mom headed right to chapters and found the book within minutes. In the title was the word dyslexia. This is why the psychologist could not tell my mom the title since it had my diagnosis in it. My mom opened the book in the store and read a quick few sentences and things clicked. She was able to see parallels and was like, oh my gosh, this is Torin. This is what she's struggling with. That is kind of my long backwards story um, as to how I was diagnosed. And I really hope that this process has improved since my day. High school was fine. I liked it better than elementary school because there were more people making it easier to hide amongst the crowd. In addition to dyslexia, I do suffer from various forms of anxiety, in particular social anxiety, which I think is partly linked to my learning disability. I had a fear of being viewed as different. I mean, no teenager wants to be seen as weird, different, or stupid. I didn't want people to view me any less intelligent because of my dyslexia. Since I didn't want to be seen as different, or I didn't want my peers chirping me for getting extra supports, I always used to hear whispers such as, why is she so special? Why does she get to use a computer or get extra time? I never really took full advantage of my IEP, and that is something as an adult I wish I did. Your IEP is designed specifically for you to help you, and instead of taking full advantage of my supports from fear of being seen as different or, like I said, stupid, I put extra pressure on myself and put my grades at jeopardy sometimes. My parents were, and still are, so supportive with everything I do. They saw how hard I worked at school and how much I wanted to succeed in academia. If I ever did get a bad grade, they never scolded me. Instead, they asked how they could help more. What supports did I need? My parents hired tutors to work one-on-one -on -one with me after school once a week to help with reading, spelling, and general homework throughout elementary school and when needed in high school. My elementary school teachers and resource teachers were absolutely amazing along the way and pushed me to take advantage of my IEP, even though sometimes I would resist, particularly once I got into grades 7 and 8, again, out of fear of being seen as different and not cool. My resource department was always there for me, and like I said earlier, I wish I had taken full advantage of my supports. Dyslexia is funny. It doesn't affect your intelligence level. To me, it is just a different way of learning. The most frustrating part is that our way of learning is different from our classmates and typically different from others with dyslexia. So finding your own strategy is really trial and error. For me, I was in high school when I finally found a study method that worked for me. Instead of just reading chapters and writing out notes over and over again, I would draw pictures and diagrams. For me, it was easier to see the materials through images rather than words. This method was my saving grace once I got into university. I knew I wanted to do something with environmental studies. Trent University was close to home. It was known for its environmental research and its work with the Ministry of Natural Resources. If I went to Trent, I would be able to have the familiarity of my hometown around me and live at home with my family, the greatest support system I had. I originally enrolled in university majoring in environmental science, but I was really struggling with my chemistry and statistic courses. In addition to my reading comprehension and spelling difficulties, I also struggle with numbers. My brain will just jumble up and rearrange them. It's rather frustrating sometimes, but I've learned not to rush, to review my work, and to take my time. 
In high school, my math teacher said that I seemed to understand the material, all the steps in the equation were correct, but my end results were generally wrong because somewhere along the way my numbers got flipped. In high school, though, I would get part marks for having the steps correct, but once you got into university, you only got marks for the right answer. Me knowing my strengths and weaknesses the best made the decision to minor in environmental science and major in geography. This would result in me having to take less heavy science and number-based courses, in turn improving my overall average. Most importantly, it was still in the field that I was interested in and would result in similar job opportunities. I absolutely loved university. I graduated university about five years ago now. I felt with each new level of education, I was becoming more comfortable with myself and accepting of my differences. I will admit that university was a big challenge at first to navigate. I felt like I was really thrown into the real world. Your teachers weren't there looking over your shoulder, making sure that your IEP and resources were in place, and making sure you were understanding the material. My first year was basically me just trying to figure out how university worked. In university, you generally take five credits a year, which is different from high school where you generally take four. Again, me knowing myself best, I opted for the, from the start to only take four credits a year as opposed to the five. This would result in me having to do a fifth year at university, but I knew my abilities and my comfort level, and I knew I would have greater success taking my time with that extra year. My parents were fully supportive and commended me on doing what I thought was best um, for my academic success. Trent University, being a small school, had a great resource program. They also offered a note-taking program where other students in your lecture would take notes and provide them to the resource department to then provide to individuals who needed them. I love how this whole process was anonymous. I would say my strategies have remained fairly similar since university. It took me a while to find out what worked for me, but once I did, most things clicked. With that being said, of course, I still have my, strat my struggles, but I understand my abilities now, and to me, that has been key to my success. My advice for my fellow dyslexic peers is to become familiar with your IEP. Know what you are entitled to to help you succeed and take advantage of it. Whether it be extra time on tests, having a scribe, using computer programs such as Kurzweil, ask for those books on tape. Ask to visit the resource department. Ask for a tutor. If you're struggling, talk to your teacher in your resource department. They're there to help you succeed. Embrace your difference. I know it is easier said than done, but trust me. Once you are comfortable with who you are, you will be amazed at how far you can go. One thing that helped me when my parents sat me down and explained my disability was they provided me with a list of famous, well-known people who also had dyslexia. People like Albert Einstein, Johnny Depp. It made me feel less alienized knowing that there were successful people out there who struggled with the same things I did. I found it interesting that a lot of these individuals on the list were in the arts. Actors, musicians, artists. I was very into the arts and craft, loved painting, baking, playing the piano. I began to think of my crafty side as a positive to my dyslexia diagnosis. Looking back, sure, there are things I would likely change and done differently. Until this year, I would, have, I would actually hide the fact that I had a learning disability, but I have come to terms with it and have accepted it as part of me. I have even found a friend in adulthood who only recently I found out also has dyslexia. It is nice to have someone who understands where you're coming from and the struggles you have. For example, we joke in the car when giving the other person directions instead of saying left or right, which as dyslexics, we have a tendency to mix up. We say your way or my way. Little bonding experiences like this make me wish I was more open with my disability sooner. I also wish I took more advantage of my resources that were provided to me in elementary school and high school. I know it is much easier said than done, but I wish I didn't care what everybody else thought about my method of learning. After I graduated university with my bachelor degree, I went on to obtain my graduate certificate for geographic information systems. I was introduced to GIS while working as a summer student at the Ministry of Natural Resources. I now work in a municipal planning department, creating maps, doing data analysis, and providing technical supports to city planners. My role is a planning technician. My main message for this video is never let anyone tell you that you can't achieve your goals. That comment from the lead psychologist I received at the age of eight was just fuel to give me the extra push I needed to reach my dreams of going to university. I always wanted to be an academic and I never let my disability stand in my way. 
Sometimes, sure, you have to take a step back and assess your approach and tackle any speed bumps that are in your academic journey at your own pace because you truly know yourself best and understand your strengths and weaknesses. Dyslexia isn't a curse. It is simply an opportunity to see the world a little bit differently. Thank you, Dyslexia Canada, for giving me the opportunity to share my journey.